I'm already married to Laura, remember? This is a formal ceremony for friends and family to show their love and support. So, if you don't fit into that category, go spend Palmer's money on shoes or something. Yeah, so why don't you just give it a rest, all right, for yeah, one day. Thank you very much. Hi. What is this? Hey. Come on. Room for me. Hi. You look very, uh, matrimonial. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, but this happens to be a family meeting, and what do you want with my son at this moment? Mm. Mm. Right. See the ceremony? Yeah. Don't ogle the maid of honor, okay? Oh, come on. Why not? All right. Mm. Good luck, Leo. Okay, Mother, come on. Let's hear it. Well, I would hope you'd aim slightly higher than some shell-shocked ex-spy who's past is so sordid you couldn't begin to unravel it. And hire for what? Love. <laughs> I'm not in love with Anna Devane. I'm using her. You know, just like you taught us. Love them, leave them, don't leave any fingerprints. And after all, you are the master, right? Or merely your pupils. All right, stop it, please. Both of you, please just stop it. Speaking of fire, Give me a minute. No fighting at my daughter's wedding. I'll remember that. So nice of you to check in. You look lovely, too. You wouldn't happen to be tracking Hayward again, would you? Don't do it. Seriously. You have to stay away from that man. You know, I've, I've heard that, that weddings bring out the worst in families, but in this dysfunctional group, it's exaggerated a hundredfold. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry, okay? Just let it go. Huh? All right? Well, I'm not, because, David, someone has to remind your brother this marriage is a sham, heading straight for disaster. Just shut up, Vanessa, please. First off, the truth is, David, you are remarrying a woman you didn't want to marry in the first place, my dear, out of some bizarre, you know, martyr-like desire to prove yourself even a better man. Oh, Mark, now, would what? you please just go? No. Don't even stay for the ceremony, please. I really can't stand the sight of you right now. No, you can't stand the sight of okay. yourself right here. All right, here. you heard and your you know it. Get out, okay? David, please. Please. Go ahead, why don't you spread that love as far as it'll oh. go, why don't you? Oh. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Hello, I'm the Reverend Baker. I'll be performing your marriage ceremony. Now, which one of you unhappy-looking men is the groom? Uh, it's me. It's me. I'm sorry. I have Leo Dupre. Nice to meet you. Oh, Leo. Now, do you want me to marry you or not? Actually, you know, I wanted to thank you for asking, because, yes, I have been tracking David, and I found him. Why are you being so righteous? Why are you being so nosy? Because I was in the ER when they let you in. You didn't look so hot. When you saw Hayward, you were scared stiff. You grabbed me, you said it wasn't an accident, and then you whispered Proteus. Well, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what you think you know. It doesn't? Proteus is the alias for the biggest drug dealer this town has ever known. And David Hayward knows was involved by uh, what? Hi. You done with all the prenup? Yeah, pretty much. Couldn't wait to see you. She's okay. She's... So, one minute you're uh, afraid to let Hayward touch you, and the next you're dating him. Have I got that right? I adore you, Edmund, but this is none of your business. I'll make it up my business. No, well done. Not anymore. 